The 04 versions of the boards are EDLA certified. That stands for Enterprise Device License Agreement, which is more than you ever wanted to know about that. But what that is, is that lets us, or gives us access to all things Google. So before uh, getting Google Apps and, and Google Content was a little difficult, then made a lot easier due to that agreement. So we are the first manufacturer to have it actually on the board itself. There are others that are out talking about it, but it, when you ask them, they've got an OPS. They've got a, a computer that they plugged in or a Chrome box that they plugged in. And that's how they're getting their Google stuff is through that. We get it through the board itself. Now you can plug a computer into this if you want to. Most people realize they don't need it. Okay. So we're going to talk about easy, right? One of the things that, that you can do with the board, you have an opportunity, the way your tech set things up to let you sign into a board. Okay. And when you sign in the board, one thing you have is access to your cloud drive. So if you have content on Google or OneDrive, you can access that by signing in. This particular model has an NFC card reader. NFC cards, think about your hotel card that you have if you're staying here. It's probably NFC, right? Near field communication. So if you have Apple Pay, same thing. So I'll take that and scan it here and that will sign me in. This is Chuck's card, so this is my card. So I can customize my background. We'll see that my name pops up here with my avatar and I can set all this myself something that you as a teacher are allowed to do. Um, I can pin some apps. So I've got some apps down here. I can also pin them up here. Where my apps are located, for the most part, that's my apps button. Kind of scroll through this and find different apps that are there. Uh, I also have access to the Google Play Store. We're gonna talk about easy, right? One thing that I'm missing from this is my app called AMS. Okay, and here it says AMS Files. So AMS, we tell people, stands for Account Management System, so that's what the techs think it stands for. For teachers, it stands for all my stuff, because that's where you want to put all your stuff there. So you may have heard Norma say that. So here, I've linked in my Google Drive and my OneDrive account. So I can tap that, tap this, and then I've got access to content here. Same thing with my OneDrive account. You guys know the difference. Google, Google is Google, OneDrive is Microsoft. Okay. So I've got access to my OneDrive account, so I might come over here and grab my training docs file. And then I've got a bunch of different content in there. And I have access to all of this content. So I can, if I want to, uh, let me come over here, I'm sorry. I can open up content directly here if I wanted to do that. Go over here, grab that. Do run my preview. And then come back to my annotation tool. I was going to open it up all over for me. But here you see this opens up, right? And so I can just write on this here, do whatever I want to with it, okay? I can erase everything just with the palm of my hand. I've also got an eraser to clear it all. And this lets me take a, a snapshot. I could do recordings, but that's all just quick and easy. What I would rather do with this than open it here is open it in EasyWrite. So EasyWrite's the whiteboard system. So as I look here, a couple things that I wanna set first, this little hamburger menu gives me my settings. So I wanna come into my settings. I'm gonna turn this auto save notion notice off. You ever have to say save in Google? It just saves it for you as you go, right? So you don't wanna to be told, hey, do you wanna save this? So I'll turn that off. All right. I will go and grab English for my handwriting recognition. So I can grab that so as I write, I can convert to text and just do a quick little download of that. I'll get, oops, go back here, back, little quick little shapes recognition. So it's my circles and squares, you know, cause I draw horrible shapes. <coughs> It'll grab those for me. And then one other thing I wanna set up here real quick is Google Translate. So I want to have English there. Whoops, my fault. And here I'll grab Spanish. And this will let me go from English to Spanish. I can change it and go the other way. I could have multiple languages here, pick the languages that I want to convert to. I also have a text to speech option within EasyRoute and it will read whatever language it's in. So if I have it in English, it'll read it in English. If I have it in Spanish, it'll read it in Spanish. If I have it in German, it'll read it in German. 
whatever the language is. Now, it's not going to have the, uh, all the accents just perfectly right. So think of, think of an American reading it. Okay, so I just wanna make sure I wanna set the expectation, right? So we'll close that. So this area is where I have settings where I save and share content. This lets me do a screen recording. This option right there lets me open it up and have what's called a cloud whiteboard session. So people could join in and add content to my whiteboard if I wanted to. Okay. This area over here deals with putting content on the screen. So I've got the pen selected. And I like to say that Easy Write has, is what I call a PhD system. It stands for push here dummy. If I can use my phone, right? I don't have to have text telling me what this stuff is. That's a pen, okay? I pick up the pen, I start to write, okay? This tool right there is my object tool. It lets me grab objects and manipulate them. So I'll grab my handwritten text there, move it where I want it to go, spin it however I want to. I can make it larger or smaller. And then remember we set up that translation. So there it is back into text. I could also run Google Translate and it'll give it that, give me that. Now you remember it's set up to go from English to Spanish. So right now, if I touch it again, it's not really gonna do much for me but I can just long press here and just flip that back around and now it'll go back to English. Yeah, that's actually what it means. So we've also got the text to speech. Hi there. Then, So I could have a whole paragraph. It'll read it for me. So that's just one thing I, I have going on there. Different tip sizes with the pens. You notice they have two different tips on them, okay? Could you come up, why don't you come up and help? Yeah, so let you have the have one of the pins here. Okay. Come on. Yeah, that's, that. All right, so I'm going to use the, the sharp tip. I want you to use the blunt tip, right? So I select the two pin option. I'm gonna take that color with that thickness of pin. So you pick a color and then pick a thickness. 81. Oh, I'm sorry, no, no, I'm sorry. One of these. Oh. That's the thickness of your line, my fault. Oh. Okay, so if you write with yours, I'll write with mine. We can do this at the same time. Okay, or now flip it. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, so that's what that dual pin mode allows for you to do. And I can erase just with the palm of my hand. Yeah, yeah, wax on, wax off, okay? So let me show you something else here real quick. Stay here. So I'm gonna go back to single pin mode. Get some lines here in that color. Get some over here in that color. Okay, I can erase with the palm of my hand. I've got an erasing tool there. So that tip there says just like the back of my pencil. Okay, but what if I wanna get rid of just this one line right there? Right, if I use my palm, it's gonna get rid of it. And if I use my eraser tip, it's gonna get rid of all that. So here I'll take that option. Now just cross that line right there. It just gets rid of just the lines that I cross, right? So there's a back, but if I just want to get rid of that one line right there, I just cross that, off it goes. Oh, I did. Yeah, that's okay. So grab one of those red lines, right? So nothing else goes away. Or do all of them. There you go. So, right, and if I do too much, I have a back button. I can also just clear everything and I'm back to a clean whiteboard, but I can always go back. So, all right, thank you. Golf clap. Okay. So other options that I have, this is text, right? You just type in text, pretty simple. All right. And again, with text, there are certain things that I can change. I can change the text itself, then, or I can make the font bigger or smaller. Unfortunately, right now, I can't change the font itself. BQ is sold in all over the world internationally. And they have decided this particular font works best for all the languages. Okay, I get slapped down every now and then. Chuck, you know, we sell this in Vietnam or we sell it in India or we sell, okay, okay, okay. Uh, but I can change the color of my text. I can make it bold, underline, right? Can change the uh, alignment. And it's just one word, it's no big deal. But if I got a paragraph out there, the alignment matters, right? And then here, right? we get with layers. So right now, this is on top of that. It was added after that was. And I can come over here and put it behind it. 
I, or let's delete it, bring it back, come back over here, put it back on top. And I'll show you something a little bit where, where layers really make a difference. And I can also just add a hyperlink to it. So if I wanted to put, uh, we're gonna go to, I'll let him bring thing or what the blood red. So instead of text, maybe that's Saturn V rocket. We're gonna go off to NASA, right? And when I tap that, it goes, there we go. Loads, loads my, my browser right there. Right? And where are we? Oh, NASA, how about that? Okay. And I can just open that up completely that way, or I can just come back over here. This gives me sticky notes and just real simple, off it goes. And I can change the background color if I want to, change the text that's in it, move it where I want it to go. So a lot of teachers when they're doing some brainstorming stuff, they'll bring up just a bunch of blank notes, right? So I can bring in a bunch of blank notes. Okay. And now, right, one of the things about this, I can bring this note over here and then I can from here, right, just tap that and type in what I want it to be. Or I could, if I want to, take my pen and write. I didn't say it's in the eyes and it's what I want that to be. Now, if I'm gonna write on it, one of the things I have to understand, remember I said everything is an object? So right now, that object, these two objects aren't tied together. So what I can do is just kind of group them all like that, touch that group button, and now everything stays in set. So if I have a, if I brought in a document, I've written all over it and I wanna move it out of the way, I wanna group all that stuff together for me. So that's a really good option there. I'm sorry? Yes, but if I type on it, it stays with it because it, it, it built it as the note, right? If I write on it, that's, that's a separate object. When I type, it's all one, one object. Every time touches and that's a separate object. Yeah. So if you do a whole bunch of dots, then you would have to, if we wanted to yeah. move together. You'd... Yeah, so let's, let's, let's do that very thing. So we'll come here and do a bunch of dots here. Now I can select each one of these or I could just group them all together. Whoops, that didn't work. Now that translated into ellipses, right? So I could grab that and then I'm just gonna group them together and then move them all around, okay? Okay, so I've got all this mess. When I fill up my screen, I can just create another screen right there or even my screen is an object. So I could just take two fingers here and just move my screen up and then come back and do some more writing here. Oops, let's move it all off to the side over there. I get everything out of the way. I don't think mine does that. It could be, it could be training. What? Could be a training thing. We can just come out and show you or maybe not. It depends. If it's easy right, it should do well. Even in, long dead, old? It depends, yeah, it depends on the age of the board. Every time they updates automatically if you're- Yeah. They do update. Yeah, so if you're using easy right five, then no, it won't. If it was easy to write six, then it will. Depending on how old your board is, if it's an O2, this is an O4, if it's an O2, which goes back about three or four years, it can use easy to write six. Yeah, it's a matter of downloading. And I can show you how to do that. Yeah. I can't do it, I have to get our TV. Well, no, no, you can actually, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you, okay? okay. Uh, but anyway, right, so I can, I can do all this, and if I, where did it all go, right? So I can just tap that and see the whole canvas, right? So I can just say, oh, let's go back over here to where we were when we started. Okay. Or I could just kind of shrink it all in and get all of it here on one screen. So, yes. Is it out of order to ask you how you would like screen capture and record that? Oh, no, not at all, not at all. So let's talk about screen capturing. So I've got a couple of ways to get content in here. Yeah, so let's talk about this. So if I come over here and open, uh, my, my browser, right? We'll go to another page. <laughs> Let's assume for a second that I want to do a lesson on fruits and vegetables. We're going to sort them. So I'll come over here. I'll type in fruit. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> I'm sorry. Talking all day. Uh, maybe fruit wasn't the best thing because I just want one or two. So here we go. I'm going to get this orange. I'm going to long, hold, long press that orange and just drag it over there. Right. So I can do this with any. Since did a lesson earlier, 
advertising. They had persuasion and advertising. They were going to have to pull up individual ads here at Liga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can also do this, right? So, all right. So I want to grab this text. So I'll just highlight that, right? And there's more, but this all we have. I'm going to long press that and just drag it over. There's my text field. Remember we talked about alignment a little while ago? So that's all centered. So maybe I want to make this left aligned like, a, like I'm reading it. So, I, so that's one way to get stuff over. I also have, let's just go with our browser for a second. Okay. And we'll go back to images. I know what I want to do. Here we go. I am from Louisville, Kentucky. It's where I live. Okay. So I'll bring this site up every now and then. So welcome to, sorry. Some people don't like the Bourbon City part, but this, it is what it is. It is, what it is. And we also have a little horse race there once a year, yeah. Kentucky Derby. Y'all may have heard of that. So, you know, if I want to grab that image, so I'm going to open up my annotation tool. I'm going to touch that camera. Okay. And then I'm take that icon right there. And what I want to do is just grab an image. So it pops this up. I could just do corners, right? Top and bottom corners. Or I could also kind of stretch it out a little bit, get what I want. This option right there, that little save icon will put it on my cloud drive. So if I want to grab it in my whiteboard right away, I just touch that easy right option, that easy right button right there, and it brings it directly into my whiteboard. So depending on where I want to put my image, what I want to do with it, I, I can just bring it in here or I can throw it up to my whiteboard. Uh, some of the other options that I have, I can just open an easy write lesson. I can create my content ahead of time. And um, so this is an easy little lesson on area and perimeter. It's just little, just two pages and then just give it a double tap and it opens up here. Okay, is that loud enough? So there are two 20 watt speakers in there and a subwoofer. But did you see the ad? No ad. There's none of the other stuff on the right. You know what's coming up next. I don't have to deal with any of that. And when I'm done with the video, I can just tap the, the screen. I love that essentially it has the sound bar built in. Yeah. Because on a previous screen, I had to buy a sound. Yeah. Yeah. And some, some, of, some of our competitors have a sound bar on the back. So, whoa, one thing I do want to show you, one last thing. If you have a, do you have phones with you? So get your phone out. One of the ways that you can share content is with a QR code. So if you'll scan that QR code, it might take a couple of seconds for it to come up here. Let both care that way. Do you get it? Horgan for fun. That loud. Yes. So I will simply leave you with my thanks.